Here are my HPI WR8 Chem Block Edition um, Fiestas. There's the other body back there for, this is actually a car I bought about a month ago now on Kijiji. And um, the guy was selling it because he, I don't know, he bought the car from someone else, tried to get into the hobby. His friends didn't get into it, so he sold the car to me, which came with a charger, whole bunch of spare parts, an extra battery, two bodies, even though both these bodies are virtually garbage. This one's not too bad, but that one has all these holes cut in it, and it's just useless. Mine, just the whole front's been abused and stuff like that, so there's only, like, basically tape is holding this whole front together. Um, and even the first day, I put a hole in it, basically the first day I owned it, back in 2013. Uh, that was fun. But other than that, I basically bought this as a spare car uh, because I totaled my car and bent the chassis or just slightly twisted it. Since I found a new one on Amazon, this is the old one down here, but since I found a new one on Amazon, uh, I figured, you know what? And I needed a motor mount too. So you basically tape is keeping some of the, most of this car together and some zip ties. But um, I got a new Integi motor mount on Amazon, so that wasn't too bad. Which is actually funny because Amazon had like eight of these all different colors. Um, this one was $17 and all the other ones were like 40 something dollars. So I didn't even care about the color. I just needed something that worked. And the orange is nice because it actually goes with the orange metal piece that comes with. Um, when you buy the motor mount, they give you a little carbon fiber piece. But I really, I'd just rather have the metal one on there. Other than that, stock motor, uh, Sidewinder 4 ESC on there, which actually I'm really liking that a lot now uh, that I've used it more. And just a waterproof Savox servo. And Proline shocks front and rear. So it was nice too when I saw this thing for sale and I saw the Proline shocks front and rear. I was like, oh, that's perfect. I already have those. I already have a rebuild kit for it. So that worked out as well. And it also came with these uh, HPI rally wheels which are very nice. I've never found these, so I don't know where the guy got them, but definitely I uh, was glad to, to find them. I wanted the ones, there's eight, there's ones with Michelin uh, on the side, a Michelin sticker, which really look nice for the scale. These were the only rally ones I could find. Like there's no more tread obviously on them, but they virtually had the exact same kind of tread style as this, which is just like these ones. These ones are just some cheap tires. Basically a complete knockoff uh, of the actual HPI wheels, which I did find these. My hobby store did have two of them, but that was about it. And these, these cheap ones don't come glued, so which is perfect, because I'm gonna take those tires and put them onto these HPI wheels. So at least I have now another set. Um, these ones here are $15 a set, cheap. They come pre-glued. But like if you hit something too hard or roll it too hard, this was in the gravel. That wasn't even on asphalt. That was just in gravel. Basically like broke the rim. So you get what you pay for. But the hardest thing to find for these cars for me are tires, like original tires. These ones are the tarmac ones, but they cost $50 a set. So I'd rather spend $15 and destroy these and spend $50. Like these are more fun obviously because on the tarmac they like just slide. But uh, and you get to have a lot more fun. These actually grip up pretty good because they're pretty nubby on them. So and as you can tell they've already been wearing down a little bit. Not much. So basically first time I went out I, I did that to the rim. So I did order a um, new wheel bearing set for it from Fast Eddie. From Amazon as well. I got two of them since now I have two cars. Mostly because I gotta take this whole car apart now. Because when the guy put the whole car together, like the first day I ran it, I basically messaged him 20 minutes later saying, I already broke the car because the, the screw came out and the wheel was just doing whatever the heck it wanted, right? So I couldn't drive it anymore. So, and then he said, yeah, I didn't Loctite any of the screws because he didn't know when you go metal to metal, you should put Loctite on it. So now I gotta take the whole, basically the whole front, whole rear back apart and put bearing, I mean, put Loctite on them. So I'm gonna do the bearings. I was waiting for these to come in. They finally just came in yesterday. So do that into this car and get this car going. 
So it worked fine, no problems with it. Um, I just, other than obviously the screws coming undone. So I haven't used this car yet, other than the first time I got it. Um, because yeah, I was waiting when I saw that, like, and I took the hubs off and I looked in behind, the bearings aren't sealed. I figured, you know what, I'll just order it. I still have this car to drive around. So I've been driving this one pretty good. I mean, I've been mostly on asphalt trying to like just destroy and have fun with these tires. I mean, the chassis is not too scratched up, still looks pretty new. So I'm kind of glad about that because uh, with these shocks, I've kind of set it so that it keeps a little higher off the ground is the stock one, I mean my original one, just got eaten up by rocks and everything. So, um, yeah, I had to put a new one on there. Just even just for the look of it for now. I'm gonna keep this as a spare, obviously. Uh, there's no point in getting rid of this because you gotta keep all the parts, everything. You gotta, uh, he kept all the spare stuff here, all the plastic arms. So I have all of that, which is nice, except missing one front lower arm, which is not a problem, mostly because, uh, like over here, I already had a Pro-Line rebuild uh, for the shocks, so that was perfect. I got another four of them. And that's just some spare shocks and little bits of stuff. But other than that, this is basically all just brand new HPI WR8 stuff. Even this was the most recent one, a hobby store I found. I basically just went in and bought all the little parts that they had left. There's just some little screws, washers, O-rings, spindle set in that one. Uh, hubs, sway bar little link. Uh, just little tiny stuff too. Sometimes even, I know I can get these screws from other things, but uh, when it's already just sealed up nicely for me, and when I'm out there, even just like these little C-clips, cause all this stuff too at the hobby store, is actually like most of the time it's like 50% off too. That's another thing because they can't get any HPI parts. Uh, they just basically sell off everything that they have. So that's also why I have all these parts is because every time I go in there, uh, well, at least the one I bought everything near the hobby store I mostly go to, like that's brand new rear arm set. Um, I buy it all because yeah, it's like 46 to 50% off or something like that. And that's why these wheels, I think they were like four bucks or something like that. They didn't cost much. Uh, mostly, they weren't even in their system in stock. They were on the shelf and I asked the guy if they, if I could just have them because they didn't have them in stock. And he's like, no, no. And I was like, he's like, oh, put, they're 40% they're off. So I was like, yeah, I'll just take them then. So, because for these $15 wheels, I put the chassis in there now actually. For these $15 wheels, I mean, you can't go wrong for 15 bucks for a set. So I'm gonna, I gotta buy a couple more sets of these that come in white or black. And uh, I have seen these on Amazon too, but for like $80 for four of them. So I would not get that. I only pay $15, that's Canadian too, at the hobby store near me. So if you are looking for tires for a WR8, and I would advise you get these. These ones are very nice, uh, especially if you have the plastic arms and stuff on it. Uh, they'll fit no problem. The metal ones might need to get a little bit of spacer on there, but uh, nothing too crazy. So yeah, I gotta put the bearings in, do some Loctite now, and then I'm hoping to run this maybe tomorrow. I might be taking my granite out and the Sentin, or maybe even the TRX4 because uh, I haven't used that in a while. So yeah, hopefully this helped you guys out. 